Good morning, folks. Today is March 31st, 2011, and this video is going to be on how to use Unet Booten and Info Recorder to use, uh, well, to download and how to use uh, a Linux distribution on your computer, how to try out the live environment. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Unet Booten uh, homepage. I'll put the link for that down in the bottom. There's a download for, for Windows, one for Linux, and also one for Mac OS X. The basic idea of Unet Booten is you take your USB stick and it basically creates a live USB drive, make, meaning that you can try out your Linux distribution without changing your computer. Sometimes this is a good idea to uh, use to try if you want to make sure that things work. Uh, before you install a Linux distribution, or if you just want to see what it looks like or see how it performs. Usually with a USB stick, it's usually uh, up at top speed. It usually runs very quickly, as opposed to using a CD image, which is the infra recorder method. But uh, head on over to the SourceFor SourceForge page for Winnet Booten and uh, download it and give it a try. And once you download it and install it, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, basically, uh, if you have, if you want to choose the distribution from the from the list here, uh, you can, and it will download it uh, and install it for you on your USB stick. Uh, if you have already downloaded a Linux image like I have here, uh, there's the Natty uh, Ubuntu Daily build, which is for 11.04. Uh, you would simply point this to that image, which is what I can do here, and then double check uh, which drive your USB stick is plugged into. Usually for me that is K. I don't have the uh, Linux, my uh, USB stick plugged in at the moment. But you want to make sure this, this letter matches up correctly. Uh, you also may not want to click show all drives unless you know uh, which you're doing with that. Uh, you could end up installing this on your hard drive and uh, causing some major damage. Uh, but generally, uh, if you open up my computer and you have your USB stick plugged in, make sure that it's formatted uh, with FAT32. Uh, uh, just right click on that in my computer and click on Format. And uh, then go ahead and run uh, Putin, And that should uh, take care of it. Uh, it might take a couple minutes for it to install it onto the stick. But once it does, just reboot your computer and choose to use the USB stick to boot. The second method is by downloading Info Recorder, which is kind of like a Nero alter alternative in the open source world uh, for downloading and burning DVDs and CD images. There are plugins for MP3s and uh, codecs and things like that that you can also use for Info Recorder, but uh, that's hosted on its own website and uh, it's pretty much straightforward. If you download an image uh, for Ubuntu or Fedora, uh, then this would be also another way to download and burn those images. You would simply uh, click right image when you open up in for a quarter and point it towards the image that you'd like to burn. Uh, and it takes only a few minutes and just remember if you burn an image to burn it at a low speed so that you can ensure that there's no errors on the disk. Uh, I'll also put the link for that down in the bottom. And here I also have just a few ideas of uh, some Linux environments that you can try. Uh, one is Linux Mint. Linux Mint uh, is an overall excellent operating system. They have five editions out right now, and Linux Mint 11 Katia will be, I think that's how you pronounce it, will be coming out soon. So uh, I'll also put their link as well down in the, the bottom of the page here. Now the distribution which Linux Mint is based off of is Ubuntu. Uh, the 10.10 .10, uh, distribution is available right now. It's excellent runs great just like Linux Mint and you can also give that a try uh, or even try the beta for the new 11.04 uh, I would recommend trying the daily build and if you're not sure of it then maybe wait for the beta to come out uh, which should be shortly I believe they're working hard to get that ready and another option is Fedora I've also tried this, dist this distribution uh, it looks beautiful and it, it runs very well as well uh, this is a little bit for more uh, I wouldn't say advanced users, but kind of people that are in between or advanced. But uh, usually when you, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, excellent. And it runs great on, on most uh, PCs uh, and AMD 64-based uh, processors. They have both options, 32-bit and 64-bit. Uh, 
just like uh, Ubuntu and Linux Mint does as well. And the final one here, and there are many others, but the final one that I'm going to touch on uh, is Puppy Linux, and Puppy is famous for being able to just run uh, on just a USB stick uh, alone. Uh, Puppy is very small but runs very, very fast. Uh, a few of our friends here on YouTube, uh, Sneaky Linux, and a few others uh, are very fond of the Pup, and I am as well. Uh, you can also install Puppy on a machine or run Puppy uh, on a machine with no hard drive and just use a USB stick if you're in a jam or if you need to access data on a hard drive that has been damaged by uh, maybe a Windows virus or malware. Uh, but it's an excellent distribution. They're always putting out new, new releases and I'll also put their link down at the bottom of the, uh, the video here. So hope you enjoyed this and as usual if you have any questions please feel free to comment and please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Thank you very much.